Howdy, folks. I am down in northern Arkansas. Well, I guess I'm up, technically. But I'm in northern Arkansas today. And uh, I'm at one of the arguably best smallmouth rivers in Arkansas. Really between this one and the Buffalo River. And this is called Crooked Creek. And it says creek in the name, but it's actually a river. And it, it snakes pretty well throughout uh, north central Arkansas and eventually washes down into the White River. And it is up and flowing. Uh, this place is called Kelly Slab. And normally, the water is not up on top of the slab. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to do a little sunfish fishing here today, and maybe some smallmouth, depending on how things go. But a lot of water, a lot of current, kind of gives me little hope. But with that, uh, I guess we'll get started. See what happens. Maybe uh, nothing's going on here. We'll just move on up river on our way back down south. So let's get to it. All right. Starting out just like we always do. Little rod, little ribbon tail. Decided to try this river for uh, long ear sunfish because I know they get kind of big in here and I know that people don't typically fish for them in here. Everyone comes here for smallmouth. So I figured maybe if they're left alone enough, I got a chance at finding a decent one. The problem is figuring out where they're gonna be with all this water. Oh, there's, well, there's fish, not what I'm after, but it's, uh, it's either an Ozark or a rock bass. I'll have to look into that. They're fairly similar, but I think it's an Ozark bass. Don't catch a lot of these, so that's pretty cool, but not a fish that I can do a lot with. on a rock a lot of rocks in here one of the reasons smallmouth like this river so much is it's just full of big rocks and they love that stuff yeah, I may have a better shot on the other side over there Which means I have to walk over there I can't park down there but I'm not gonna give up here just yet something something small something Let's see if he'll bite again All right, well, this isn't working out as well as I had hoped. Did catch one fish though. So I'm gonna move to the other side of the slab and see if I can fish kind of that calmer, pooly area. All right, now we're down on the other side. This, uh, this whole slab used to be one solid thing with like a pipe that ran between it. For some reason, I decided to knock the middle out so you can't just walk across the whole thing anymore. But this side has a canoe launches and unloading. Now there's a ramp on either side. This one's pretty darn steep. But this side, easy enough to get out of. But I'm not really going to walk out into the water. Because uh, that's just dumb. But I'm going to throw around in here and maybe see if I can walk along the bank somewhat. Maybe we can find something. All the little minnows are coming to hang out over here, try to protect themselves from all this current. 
<clears throat> me says that fish should be in this area trying to find and eat them. My uh, bright white grub isn't exactly very natural looking, but I mean, one fish liked it so far, so it can't be too bad. Alright, there were some definite bites. There's another one. They're just small. Too small. Going in. Nope. Saved it. Rocks are slippery. Hmm, I got a couple bites. I'm doing something at least kind of right. There's more there. I think I'm getting bites. I, I could easily just be bumping into something, but I think I'm getting bites. Yeah, it's just, uh, it ain't going as well as I thought it might. really working the tactic I had planned on because I didn't expect the river to be up this high is normally let's see what I'm looking at here the water's only going through the little spillway spot there and all the rest of this that you can walk across on the slab you could fish right along the wall which is where all these fish like to hang out but uh can't really get to that today I could give it a shot I guess but I'm gonna soak my feet doing it I don't really want to do that All right. I don't think sunfish is going to work. So uh, try something else. There's a little pool down there because there's kind of a jetty that comes out of that tree there. So maybe in that calm water right there, I can find a fish or two. Let's see if we can, uh, looks like I can get it down. Go check it out. There we go. Easy peasy. Well, I'm trying to rock. It's a sandy little bottom here, it looks like, but doesn't mean there's no fish. They're probably all trying to find a way out of this current so they can just kind of hang out. I'd imagine. Hmm. Well, nothing really, uh, nothing really to this today. Fish don't seem to want to cooperate. Got that first cast curse. So I uh, just wing it all the way over there. Nope, not, not like that. What is happening? Now one more idea before we give up on this. Here, 
I'm gonna follow it down. It should go down river a little ways to this bend and take us out at like this rock cluster. Now I don't know if I'll be able to use it because the water's so high, it could be underwater. But uh, any luck, we can get down there. Maybe catch something worthwhile. Water's still moving pretty well. Doesn't really look like, all right. Well, it's something. It ain't great, but it's something. I doubt I'll find any fish here, but uh, never know until you try. Yeah, water just rips that bait away. Under. If I could get a little bit more through the woods, I wonder if I can get down around right at like the crest of the bend. Kind of what I was hoping for. And you know, when the water's lower, I can just walk over there, but let's see. Goes that way. I need to go that way. But it looks like someone does walk through here. So let's see how bad this is gonna be. Oh yeah, nice little muddy creek down here. I'm sure this is gonna be awful. Yeah. Better spot to get across it. Get off of me, there's so many bugs. Nature, why? Huh, there's little minnows up through here. That's, I'm just gonna sink through all that. Kind of cross there where the sticks are. It's like someone small walking trail right here as well. This looks a little bit better. There's at least like some roots and stuff. I'll give this a shot, assuming I don't just fall in. So my boots have like no traction. Put the rod up there. Er, I said my boots. I'm not wearing boots, and that's why I have no traction. Ugh. That'll be fun to come back down later. Great. I'm making good decisions as always. I'm gonna be covered in ticks. Probably get bit by some snakes. Maybe just some ugh, wild raptors out here. I don't know. I heard you're not supposed to go into the long grass. It's a big hole. Well, keep on walking. Well, looks like there's a spot here. Ugh. Sure, we'll throw out here, see if we catch anything. Yeah, this water's just moving way too fast, I think. throw upstream so that my lure can actually sink. Got a bite. Well, it's just ain't working. Pulling ticks off me already. I guess uh, we're gonna go back. See if I can maybe find a small mouth up at the slab. The uh, Blue Ribbon Stream, Arkansas does, is it Arkansas? It might just be throughout the country. Maybe this tells me. 
by the finest smallmouth bass fisheries in Arkansas. See, I told you. But yeah, y'all can try to read that as you see fit. Also, this is a very cool looking fish. But see, one of the best. Buffalo River is really its only contender. All right, before we leave, we're gonna try for some smallmouth. So I got my big rod out here, you know, comparatively. This is usually what I do for any kind of heavy fishing. And it's a, uh, how, how big is this thing? A seven foot medium light. I got a 25 pound braid on it, tied to a 12 pound mono. And I've got a jig head with a crawdad lure on it. The colors don't match because I don't have a lot of options. But the crawdad, if you can hear that, had a little rattle in it. So hopefully that'll, uh, that may help, although I'm sure the noise will be drowned out by just the water. But the smallmouth are used to a running current through here, so I don't know if it'll affect them much if it's so much more. Usually, the method would be to use live bait you catch right here. Throw it out in the current and hope for the best. I don't have live bait. I got a crawdad. I guess it's not stuck on a weed. Well, I guess that's it for my attempt at smallmouth. All right, we, uh, we moved up river. Uh, I'm up in Harrison now. I've never really been here before, but it, I'm still on Crooked Creek, but it's a nice area. Check this out, just nice bridge. Like, kind of looks like a canal over down to like a spillway over there. I've never been here before. I don't really come to Harrison much, but it looks like it'll be a lot easier to fish around in here and uh, definitely gonna get less ticks. I've pulled like eight off of me so far. So let's uh, do a little walking on this little path, throw around, see what we can find. Yeah, here's our spillway area. Kind of cool. I expect there to be fish down around the base of it. That's my hope. Nothing really up at the top had any interest here. I'll just throw through here. There's a fish. Is that a large mouth? Well, not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. It's not bad. Hey, buddy. Hey, not huge by any means, but a little fish. Hmm. Let's get this one out of his mouth first. All right, now his gill plate here. There we go. Safe and sound. Oh, got two different types of bass today. Neither of them are the type of bass this uh, river system is known for. It's a little interesting, I suppose. Mm. Oh, there's a fish. Not a large mouth. 
a little better. This is apparently where they're at. Well, second large mouth out of that spot. This one's a little better. And this uh, other guy just pulled another one in right here, so maybe there's more. There's something catching something. Another one. Oh, we spit it. You having any luck? I'm just drowning them worms. <laughs> yeah. Got a couple of crappies in there, but just killing time. Yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. Making my way back down south, figure why not stop. Yeah, it's nice. But there's some, there are some monsters in here. Yeah? I guarantee it. I've walked on that bridge many times. And I've seen them in here. There have been ones probably four feet, four and a half feet. There's monsters in here. All right, well, I got a bigger pole in the car and some night crawlers. Maybe I'll just throw them out. Let's sit for about a half hour, see what happens. Yeah, that's about what usually happens out here, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks. You bet. Yeah, there's bass, there's uh, barb, uh, trout, crappie, all kinds of panfish. I mean, especially yeah. when you walk up towards the high school area, there's a, a, a stream that turns into a stream up there that's just really nice. All right. There's some nice ones up there. Well, I'm... I saw you. I saw you. Got away from you. That's all right. You left me my meal. All <laughs> right. Good luck. Have a good one, man. I like talking to Koopy old man. Well, old man says throw some worms out. I got worms. So uh, let's re rig all of our stuff here. And we'll throw some worms out. Well, old man told me to use worms. And I just happened to have some for once. Because there's one thing I've learned in all my years of fishing. Is that if you go somewhere new, you're not really sure what to do. Find the oldest person there and ask them what they think. Those old men, they're local and fishing here forever know what's up i'm not going to give this a ton of time but it's worth at least a half hour to me got my big rod out maybe we can land us a catfish or a carp hell maybe a bass wants this i don't know we'll whip her on out there that's the drag really tight oh one click back probably good enough I'm just gonna prop this up here because I don't really have any kind of rod stand or anything let me just sit there then got any more worms in here huh. well apparently I only have two worms left I was gonna throw one out on a bobber, so I guess I'll uh, nix that. Put a lure back on my little rod. Won't be too hard. Ain't no damn fish around. Odd. 
all of my worm is gone. Very good worm. That's what we got. And there he goes. Swung him off. Alright. That's enough. Calling it a day on fishing. I'm going home to see my cats. Well, far from my best day of fishing, but uh, also very far from my worst day. I did, I did catch some okay little fish today, and I got that Ozark or rock bass. I still haven't looked that up. Uh, I think it's an Ozark. You know what? I can just, let me just do a quick Google right now. Right now. Do, do, do. Ozark bass. Uh, picture ever gonna load in all the way there we go there's a nice one all right so there you go ozark bass that's what I got got an ozark bass so i know i've caught those before i wonder if i've actually got that listed in my thing whatever anyway caught some okay fish i got to see some new places uh one new place i guess i've been to the other one tons but oh well time to go home i got about a probably a three hour drive to get home and i'm sure uh cats are wondering where the hell I'm at. So catch y'all next time.